What's up, everybody? A spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Empyreon Galactic Survival. Uh, when we left off in the last episode, we didn't get a whole lot done, mainly because, as I had mentioned, some personal stuff in the background going on that didn't leave me much time for recording. Um, we did get some mining, though, done, and got some more resources. However, we did run into a bit of a snag. Um, I forget what component it was that I needed. I think it was thrusters. Cables, electronics, motor... No, that wasn't it. Um, what was it? There was something about making this small vessel. We have our CS, we have fuel tank, we have a generator, we have an oxygen tank. What was it that I needed? There was something I was hung up on. Uh, that needed, like, flux coils and something. And I don't remember what it was. Huh. Alright, let's restrict this to small vessels and see if I can find it this way. Uh, ventilator? No. 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 Huh. Well. Motor, electronics, and... Yeah, something I was looking at needed, like, an advanced CPU and a bunch of stuff. But I don't know what it was now that I was looking for. Um, was it something that I thought I needed and I'd already built? I'm, I'm really confused at this point because... Oh! Oh! Here's what happened! I was looking at a capital vessel th small thruster. I didn't notice that was a little bit yellow, and this is green. That's what it was. Okay, so I was like, well, we need... When you go over and look at the uh, resources, the flux coil and advanced CPU need, like, this... The Sathium, Nimodium, you know, blah, 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 blah. Uh, or Neodymium. Not Nimodium. Neo Neodymium and Sathium, Sathium, whatever. Uh, all this stuff I didn't have and have like one ore of and not enough to make more ingots. Um, and so I was thinking, well, crap, now I've got to go like, you know, raid something or whatever to find this stuff. I totally missed that this is for a capital vessel and that this is actually the one I'm looking for, which is just motors, electronics, and cables. Which needs what? I feel like I should have that stuff. Motors, 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 motor, motor, motors, motor, motor. There, there you go. That needs electronics, which is copper and silicon. So I think I'm low on copper. That's probably what I'm missing. Uh, there's. I, wait, I thought I told it to make a bunch of this stuff. Maybe I didn't. Uh, wasn't there a way to make it do a hundred? Oh, it's just control. Okay. And let's do that. And where's silicon? Let's do that. I mean, I know it's not going to be able to make all that, but that's fine. So that changes things. Because I was actually thinking of going and raiding the abandoned mine. Uh, because I didn't have a way to get that stuff. So that actually changes some things. Is that all it can do? Nope, it's still going. Cool. Um... Yeah, because I don't really... Oh, I just realized, too, those come out in outputs of 10. That's right. Okay, cool. Uh, so it's going to be copper that I think is going to be a bottleneck. We have cobalt, we have silicon, I have gold, promethium, rock. I only have one copper ore, and that's going to be a problem. Yeah, it didn't even make one, it just skipped it. So, where is the nearest copper deposit? I found there. There's cobalt, silicon, iron, silicon. There's copper right behind us. That's cool. So, that's something that I may end up uh, doing because, well, you, you, I mean, yeah, yeah, we, we need copper. Um, do I have... Okay, and now I have my secondary, or my tier 2 drill, so I don't really need this one. And yes, I know I'm putting it in the constructor, but I just don't care. Um, <laughs> I I don't really have... Um, dang, damn it, too many games. Can't remember the controls. There we go. I don't really have uh, my crates and stuff easily accessible. I should probably change that. I 
this is an ammo one, though. Anyways. So, yeah. I have to admit, um, I was watching the loading screen as it loaded, as it happens. I mean, I know some of you may not, but every now and again, you notice the, the loading screen as the game loads. Sometimes you just stare at it. It happens on occasion. Um, yeah. So, some of the ships they show off, though, are crazy detailed. Like, they're cool looking, but I'm like, man... I'm having a hard time making, like, a little gimpy, like, speeder bike thing, and these these pictures are like these big tanks with turrets and cannons and... or a capital ship that's like, you know, this massive behemoth of a ship or something, and you're all just like, jeez, dude. You know, like, how, how do I do that? How do I make one of those? Um... Alright, what's this set for? Resource mining, terrain removal, filler flattening, stone removal. So that's cool. So I guess it's down... Oh! Eh. Apparently I've already been mining it and I just forgot about it. Uh, it's probably... Ooh, let's try out the flattening thing. Use for flattening terrain. Use this mode does not... Well... Is this... This is ore too, isn't it? Oh, I forgot to look down in the bottom left. I'm looking for the rocks. That's awesome, by the way. Uh, yeah, so that's copper, so we don't really want to just flatten that. Uh, I really just want to kind of carve a... angle there. I mean, we have a jetpack, so it's not a big deal, but we need to have little lips where we can actually, like, land and fly up kind of thing. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to get out of here. That'll do. That'll do, me thinks. Yeah, that works good. And then I'm just gonna go at this from an angle, I think. Oh my, though, I can see why the tier 2 drill is a good idea. Holy cow. I mean, you don't have to pick up rocks or anything, it just gives it to you. That's so great. Okay, so with 270 ammo left, and a much deeper cave later, um, we have 101 copper, not to mention uh, 6 crushed stone. Really? 6 and all that? I guess it's because I went deeper down and so you were probably lower than the stone layer. Yeah, that probably makes sense. And we're at 94% of that ore, good grief! There's so much ore. I guess that's how people build ships like that. <laughs> I, that is one thing that you guys gotta understand is I've only ever played Imperion and Space Engineers for that matter as a video maker. And so I'm always looking at like nobody wants to watch me just sit here and mine, hence why I cut that out. Um, but it's different than like playing uh, on your own when you're not worried about it and you're just watching a live stream or something and you're just mining and then you just have like a crap load of ore from all different, you know, categories kind of thing. Because you're not really worried about, you know, it being entertaining or anything. It's just you playing the game. So that's something I have to kind of keep in mind when I'm doing this stuff is making sure that I don't, you know, over... Uh, you don't end up over doing, like, you know, a lot of the grindy work kind of thing. Because uh, that's just not that fun to watch. It's different when you're, like, uh, if you were, like, doing a live stream or something because you don't edit anything out. But when you're doing videos, you know, it, or Let's Plays or whatever, it's it's just, you know, you don't really want to see the tedium kind of thing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is that really all the silicon I had? 50? I guess. Okay, fine. Sure. Uh, wait a minute, let me check, actually. Does silicon do the same? Yeah, it's 5 to 10. So it's a 1 to 2 ratio. Hmm. Interesting. I thought I had more than that. See, now I can make more of these. <laughs> okay. So I need three of these, right? One in each direction. That should give us... 
should give us what we need. Now, in terms of weapons... Or is that still under devices? Building blocks? Where did my weapons go? Where are my weapons at? Hold up. It's gotta be under weapons, right? Ah, here they are. No, nope. wait, yeah, they're there. Okay, so Gatling gun's all we have at the moment. Um... What is this one? What did it need that for? What's the... What is the blue one? Oh, cobalt. Yeah, I've got a ton of that, too. So let's just... Set that up in there. Um... So, can I... Do I have any research points for small vessels? I do. I have available 33... Oh, I'm not a high enough level. Poo. I want at least rocket launchers, right? Um... Hmm. I really want homing, but that's quite a few levels away. Still, though, I think we'll have enough for... Our thrusters. And as far as I know, I mean, that should kind of cover us. We'll have... We have the O2 tank, the generator, the fuel tank... I somehow forgot to make a cockpit? Seems relatively necessary, though I don't know if the small vessel starter block... I don't know if that comes with one or not. I don't think it does. I think it just comes with a core. Probably won't need a ventilator. Um, I think I have an extra ammo box. Let's find that out, actually. Devices. Cargo. Excess. Not that one. How about you? I have a ventilator, but I do not see... Yeah, I don't see a... Oh, I can throw these in there, though. I don't see a, um, a cockpit or a ammo box. So let's move. go ahead and make that, make that. Um, how much of this do I actually have? That's going to do five at a time. Actually, let's clear that and turn that back on. And then we'll put this back in here. Oh, I have it set for small ship. So where did it go? There we go. So there's that. There's that. And with this, we should have everything we need other than let's make... I'll just go ahead and put two of these on here. I, I was really wanting to get rockets, but I don't really have the points to do that. Um, so let's go out to here. And this isn't really ideal, though I could flatten it. Ooh, let's try that. Let's play around with that. Flattening. Okay. I don't really know what it's flattening it to. Oh, I see. I think. Well, I think I see. If I'm if I'm reading this right, it's where your crosshair is, and then like that doesn't move. But then if you click and drag that into something that isn't that height, it'll bring it down to that height. Is I think what's happening. I think. That's what it looks like. Um, and then I'm guessing it'll will it raise. Looks like it'll raise it. No, maybe not. Maybe it will. Yeah, it does a little bit. Okay. I don't wanna I don't wanna deform this too too much. I just wanted a little bit of an area that I could work with. Actually, I should be flattening it to this. Whoa! Nope, that's going It's going a lot flatter than I meant it to go. Well that's not working either. Okay. You cannot drill. Okay. Uh, why is that going down? I really want this to come back up, and it just keeps going down. I guess you have to use the filler. It's just a lot slower. I don't know why it changed from sand to dirt, or I mean to stone. That's kind of weird. Because I kind of like this height. 
I was trying to kind of match the fill height or the flatten height to it, but it didn't really work that way. Whoops. My bad. Just playing around with some tools here. I've never really worked with them before. I also don't really know, understand, or see how the game's determining, like... That's one thing with Minecraft or something, was you, you could actually just see that that's a square, that's a square, that's a square. This is like, you kind of have to figure out where the source of the voxels are. Which is a little complicated and weird. And this has just turned into a mess, basically. I'm really not sure why... If I put this here, it doesn't do anything, but now when I drag that over, it like sinks that lower, and I would think that would bring it back up. Does that make sense to anybody else? Terrain removal, stone removal... Like it should, but that keeps pushing it back down. That's really weird. Because the filler doesn't keep it level, it just fills it in, as the name implies. But see, we get all this weird garbled, rocky terrain, and I wanted it flatter than that. Hence why I was flattening it in the first place. Stupid terrain editing thingies. And I don't know why it's changing it to this gravel, either. I like the sand. I've just made a mess of my front door, essentially. Is the moral to this story. Okay. Now, if I raise this up higher, let's try this this way. This goes higher, right? Okay, fill all that in. Yay, filler, Woo. filling stuff. Okay, so that's higher now. Now if I flatten this, right, it should bring it, but keep it level. Okay. That's more along the lines of what, that. I don't know what it's doing, but that's more along the lines of what I was wanting it to do in the first place. Okay, so that's better. This not so much, but that's better. I like that. Um, once again, my my episodes lately have not been going the way I thought they were going to go. I had in mind something else to do. And it started with Elite and Starbound and stuff, but they, they all kind of ended up, like, being something else other than what I had originally set out to, like, this is what I'm going to work on this episode. And they ended up kind of turning into completely different episodes. Um, this one, for example, was supposed to be, like, build small ship, and it's kind of turned into screwing around with terrain tools. How that happened? Not really sure. Oh, yes, I do. I was looking for a spot to build my ship. And I didn't have one, so I decided to make one. I'm also realizing why you have, like, 600 ammo for these frickin' drills. See, like that? Why is that? There you go. I was like, why, is it, why are you not flattening? Okay. So once you get the hang of these, it's actually fairly user-friendly, really. It just takes you kind of a minute to get used to how they work. Like, you have to fill this in, and then it'll start kind of doing what you want it to do. Um, let's bring this back down a bit. The range on this flattening tool, though, is very deceptive, and you really need to be careful of that. Okay, that looks better. I like that. We kind of fixed the damn. We, we didn't really fix the damage over here, but... Uh... Part of this, too, is... Um, I've actually, in my off time... Well, I say in my off time. It's been four projects that I want to work on in the future, but I've been doing it in my off time. Um, has been... I've been learning a little bit more in kind of starting out practicing and things with 3D modeling, and one of the things you can do with a more complex model is uh, sculpting, and so they talk about how you can kind of lay in the 3D animating uh, creative things, like for, I, I use Blender, because, you know, free, um, but uh, it talk, like you can use a sculpting tool, and they talk about like laying strips of clay 
on it and then kind of smoothing it out and refining it and that's kind of what this feels like like with the filler you kind of fill it in and then you can use the flattening one to kind of reshape it if you want to and that's how you get a bit more of a gradual uh, curve slope kind of shape though I am kind of making a mess of this but the concept is similar The trouble is the voxel stuff like that. You're flattening over here and it like lowers this. Why? Who knows? So that's a little weird. Anyways, we've kind of set up a little area here that we could start a small ship. Okay, so it doesn't actually come with a cockpit. I didn't think it did. Uh, so if I remember correctly, this is the front now. Like that would be the forward facing section. So this should be well, well done at this point. Okay. Let's grab that and that and the other thing. Uh, we'll put some of this away actually so I have more room. That should be everything we need other than the weapons. Uh, was there a mission for building a small ship, or was that a tutorial? I think that... Excuse me, I think that was a tutorial. Yeah, I don't think... Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think that's a, a mission anymore. I think it used to be. But I don't think it's a mission anymore. So, how do we want to do this? I have no freaking clue. Uh, the other thing we're going to need is some just steel blocks. I mean, I really hadn't thought about that. Uh, sure, let's do that. What is it? It's... Wait, when do we need hardened steel plates? Oh, because I made hardened steel. <clears throat> let's not talk about that. Um... Let's just, just ignore that entirely. So we have two steel plates per block. And each plate is five, but gives out ten. So, in a way, it's a, it's a one-to-one -one with the plates. So as long as I have a hundred ingots, I should be able to get that hundred steel then. If the math's right, which, pfft, who knows. Uh, we're gonna grab these first. Okay. So, how do we want to do this? And if I write that, oh yeah, I forgot. We can. They kind of incorporated it all into one now. Ooh, that's a cool one. I like that. That's a neat looking one. Ooh, pretty. That's more like a fighter ship. That's pretty cool. Uh, some of these I haven't seen actually. We have an open one. That's boring. Who wants an open one? When you can have these cool, like, fighter ship looking ones. Um, it's another open. Actually, that wouldn't be a bad thing. But, yeah. So some of these we had before. Like, I think that's the one we actually used before. I really like this one. Is kind of cool looking for, like, a rover. I really like that one. What is the size of this one? Two? Or is it three? It's a two block wide. Mm. And that's a... Is that a three? I think that's a three. Oh wait, that's the wrong one. This It's still a three, but... I could just, you know, be a smart person and highlight these where they say with height and depth. <clears throat> I don't want to talk about it. Um, so yeah, that is a two. That one's not bad either. Actually, what I could do though is just um, reduce the size of this, I guess. I like that it's protected in the core though. Uh, see, the thing is... Well, unless I added... 
to the side. If I added a block to one side, then it would make it even, but with it being an uh, even number, there's no way to make this centered, which is the only reason I don't really like that one. Uh, this is the same way. Maybe we'll go with this one, I think. And I'm thinking, let's snap it to the front like that. Um, let's see. Ooh. Yeah, I kind of like that. That's kind of cool looking. I approve. Okay. I still don't remember if there's uh, damage or not. In this one, what is this? The... Dang it. You're gonna make me look. Generator. O2 tank. Fuel tank. So we could put the generator there. We can put the O2 tank there. We can put the... Fuel tank there. Um, especially since they did, like, you know, when you're in here, you can just hit P and, like, act you know, get to stuff. Like, you can refuel the power and the oxygen and all that stuff. We don't have to worry as much about being accessible. Uh, what else do we have? We have this guy. We have thrusters. We have weapons. And then we basically just have blocks. Let me go check here, too, because I should have more blocks now. I do. I have a lot of them. And I'm very happy about it. Okay, so I kind of want the chain guns here. Why are you not snapping there? There you are. I could put them on the side, though, depending on how we want to do the, the shape. Let's actually work out on one side. Let's see if we can work out a shape here. Um, round corner long... I'd like to kind of do a rounded but almost sloped angle, and I don't know if I have the blocks to do that or not. That's not really what I was looking for. That's not really what I want, but it could work. Ooh, what about you? Corners. Nope, that's not it. Maybe these. Maybe it's these that I'm looking for. Corner long B and C. Where's the caps to these? I guess it would be these two? I don't really know. These are a little confusing here. So, if I wanted it like that... So if I wanted it like that... And then, what, this way? It would go here. I kind of wanted that a little higher. I'm not sure if that's too high or not, but it's not really letting me in between that. Um, and then I guess that... And that? I think? And then you would have a repeat situation? Um, and I definitely don't want to go higher than that, I don't think so. Well, I may have to. I may have to go one higher to cover that up, so let's try that. Whoa! That wasn't what I meant to do. I don't know what happened there. I'll put one there. Oh, right. I keep doing that. Should be using this guy, even though it's a little more touchy. Uh, and here, what we can do is do that. Ooh, very touchy. They need to lower the sensitivity on this a little bit. Uh, and then that. And then from he 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 here. Sorry about making anybody dizzy. Good grief. Uh, there should be... A ramp. Like so. And then we'll put ramp B there. And let's see how this looks. If I can get it to snap right. There we go. 
Okay. How do you, how do you look? I'd like it to be a little bit more of a curved slope, but I think that's the best we're going to be able to do. Um, let me get rid of you. And then you would kind of do the same thing, I think, if I can get this properly oriented again. Okay, so that's the right angle. Uh, wrong block. So I would need that there. And that there, and you would kind of just keep... Well, that would actually turn into a regular square at that point. You just keep going with that. And I don't know how far out I would go with this. Maybe, like, one more. Like this. And then from here do... I don't know. Angles of some kind. Can I do slopes here? Oh, no. I can't do that because of this guy up here. Well, that sucks. I have a feeling that's going to make the ship a lot wider than I wanted. But I don't really know if there's a way around that. Or not. And then you would do the ramps in the front here as well. Uh, maybe these guys? Or would we want those embedded? Oh, that would, that would be kind of interesting. If we embedded these, like, say, right there. Nope, these. Like that. Uh, can I run them a little further back? And maybe not that far back. I want them kind of out a little bit, like there's a... Do I want it there, or do I want it there? I kind of like them a little bit further out. I don't know. That doesn't really cover up enough. Kind of makes these things look like they're floating out here. Oops. So what about... Maybe like that would look better. It's still a little wonky, but it would look a little bit better than just not having it there at all. Um... And then we could do something like this. Actually, let's just place these. Come on. Snap. Snap it. There we go. Something like that. Uh, oh, would that actually make this angle out here? I don't know. I don't know at this point. This is a weird looking ship. That's all I know. Uh, yeah, we're actually getting a little high on our timetable here, though. Let's see if we can't kind of in some way find some semblance of uh, something that doesn't look horrendous. Like that. Nope. That one. There we go. Um, and then I guess. Man, that's not coming out the way that I wanted it to. I wanted it to just be kind of like a... Well, I guess maybe it is. It's a lot of blocks for one side, though, for it not to really be shaping up like I wanted. Then you have this one, and this one. And you have this over here. It's got to end at some point, though. That's the thing with these corner designs, is you, you're like, where does it end? Um, like that, and like that, and then I guess this would be the last one. And from this point, then you could do slopes. Um, how does that... Ew, that does not look the way I wanted it to look. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know about that. Especially this. This looks bad. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's that's not how, that's not how I was thinking of it. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's not going to work. I wonder, can you right-click with these? No, there's no variance. 
Okay, so I think what I'm going to do, we're a little heavy on our time here, so I think what I'm going to do is end it here, but let me know what you guys think in suggestions, because I'm not real happy with this, but you might have a decent idea of how, where I was going with it. Um, I, I'm kind of thinking like a, a jet design, you know, like a point in the front and it kind of spreads out into a wingspan, but make it a little bit more all-in-one shape, uniform, spaceshipy kind of look, not so much like a plane. Um, as evidenced by the attempt to embed that cockpit in the, the ship rather than have it like sticking up off the top or something. Um, this part I'm happy with. This is okay. And we can add thrusters and things as we go. I don't think they added thruster damage, but it may have thruster damage. I'm not sure. So we might have to be mindful of that. Uh, we can slap the ammo box right there. It doesn't really matter. So let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. In the meantime, I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.